Vice Chancellor Professor Stephen Toop, Master um, Professor Ian White, um, esteemed uh, Idan Prize laureates, colleagues from Jesus College, uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Uh, it's my pleasure to welcome you to Idan Prize Conference Series Europe. And I'm honored to be here today to say a few words about the conference. Before I begin, I would like to talk the opportunity to acknowledge the support given by Jesus College, the University of Cambridge. For the second year, Jesus College has kindly supported us by being the co-organizer and providing this terrific venue to host the conference. Thank you. Also, my heartfelt sense go to each and every one of you here. Without your support, we won't be able to gather and engage in a thoughtful and collaborative discussion on the future of education. As many of you are aware, the mission of Edan Prize is to create a better world through education. Since our launch three years ago, we've been blessed with so many high caliber nomination. And our laureates are truly leaders and visionaries in their fields. May I introduce the two laureates, winners, Professor Larry Hedges, the 2018 Edan Prize Laureate for Education Research Professor. <laughs> And Professor Anand Agawa, <laughs> the 2018 Edan Prize Laureate for Education Development. Professor Hedges is a preeminent scholar in education research. He is well known and respected by his dedication to meta analysis, which has transformed the way of evidence-based policy making. Through his research, we have come to understand that increase in education resources, even a modest one, could have positive and far-reaching consequence on achievement. Professor Egawar, on the other hand, is renowned for making high-quality education affordable and accessible on a global scale. The platform he created, EdX, is supported by Harvard and MIT. It's a massive online course provider where it hosts university-level courses in wide-ranging subjects to learners from anywhere in the world. And the best part is that some courses are available free of charge. In, in short, he has placed the quality education at everyone's fingertip. Now coming back to the conference, I appreciate that. Throughout the world, there are all sorts of education conferences happening probably every month, if not every week. What made the Edan Prize Conference series different? Let me use one word to capture its essence, action. You heard it right. The Edan Prize Conference Series is a platform to facilitate actionable outcomes to improve global education. In other words, we don't want just talk the talk, but also walk the walk. I'm sure all of you agree that edu actionable outcomes means a lot in terms of propelling change in education system around the world so that the next generation can benefit from the research and efforts of our esteemed laureates and other educators. We want the next generation to better equipped to deal with future challenges and opportunities. In my recent trip to New York two weeks ago, 
I had the privilege to share my view on education with UN Secretary General Anthony Gutterrands. In fact, in this year's World Economic Forum, Secretary General mentioned about platform of action, and I quote in part, I believe the UN can be a platform for discussion with the business community and government, governments within the sustainable development goals discussion in order to try to adjust the massive impact that the fourth industrial revolution will have on societies and economies. That highlights the importance of a platform that facilitates actionable outcomes. Education, so as to pro promote mutual understand, cooperation, and progress in education around the world. Basically, as far as education is concerned, it no longer matters how many things people learn. It matters how people learn to learn. That's why I set up Edan Prize to focus on education research and education development from the very beginning. To complement the dual emphasis, we organize confer conferences like this as a platform to encourage collaboration and incubate innovative ideas that tackle the most pressing challenges facing the world. But it Incubating idea is not enough. We must turn the ideas into the methodologies so that actionable measures can be scaled up, customized, and applied throughout the world for the enhanced of global education. Today, we are launching the second edition of the Worldwide Educating for the Future Index, WEFI 2018. Conducted by the EIU, the, the Economist Intelligence Unit, and commissioned by the Edan Price Foundation. This time, 50 economists are surveyed, representing 90%, 93% of the global GDP, helping young people Flourish in life is the fundamental work of educational institutions. And our goal is creating the index is to have a benchmark targeting the young people and future. I'm happy to, to, to share. Today we are in Europe. In my view, Europe as a region not only it's rich in history, but also has many best practices in today's education. Citing this year's index results, I want to be happy to share, seven out of the top 10 performing economists are in Europe. And this means a lot to this conference, conference series, as we see today's event as a platform to share experience and get the best practice from the region's educators so that the rest of the world can learn from the region. With this in mind, I wish the conference a great success and all guests and participants a most rewarding and fruitful discussion. Thank you. <laughs>